The radioisotope gallium-67 is a medical isotope used as a radioactive tracer to image tumours and inflammatory infections and has a half-life of 3.3 days. Gallium-67 has been used for imaging a variety of tumours since 1969 and is referred to as gallium scans. Gallium-67 produces radiation, which is a gamma ray emitter, since the, it is imaged with a gamma camera. The scan firstly detects infections or the inflammations in the spine, chest, bones and joints of other regions. Also to evaluate people with lung disease and to examine patients with acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS. Another purpose for the scan is to detect cancerous diseases such as lymphomas, non-Hodgkin's disease and Hodgkin's disease. A gallium scan of the body is a nuclear medicine that detects gallium, a form of radionucleotide, through a gamma. Gallium-67 is first injected into the body and the organ which receives the largest radiation dose is bone surface. The patient would normally go through testing facility 24 to 48 hours before the surgery. After the infection, approximately 75% of the dose distributes into the bone, liver, bone marrow and soft tissues. In the procedure, the patient first lies still for 30 to 60 minutes, where the camera will detect any of the gallium. This is imaged with a SPECT camera or with a SPECT slash CT hybrid machine. Many benefits of the gallium scan are that there is no aftercare following the procedure since there is just an injection in the scan. Also, the scan is normally less exposure to radiation than x-rays. Problems with the scan are that there are, no, are guidelines to using the scan since it is a radioactive medical isotope. No pregnant women are to go through the procedure or women that are breastfeeding. Also, children aged less than 14 years are not to have the scan due to high exposure to radiation. Gallium scans is a poor image quality compared to x-rays. Therefore, gallium-67 is in the use of gallium scans is far more beneficial to use than not to because of the slight risks, since it uses less exposure than x-rays to radiation and there are no aftercare or side effects following the procedure. Thank you.